Um, I'm a, I'm Shifa Mohammed. I study in the UAE, and uh, I do I from using Granbury. I've applied to many medical university in order to go abroad and study. I have received an offer from both the first and third faculty of Charles. So for the entrance exam, basically. um i read a lot of different kind of books and materials because even though the university says that the exam material or the exam stuff is similar to the a levels it's not similar to all a level exams the content is very different while the a level exam they challenge your critical thinking the mm-hmm. i felt like the entrance exam was challenging the amount of your knowledge instead rather than critical okay. thinking the mmi was very open ended also Uh, the mm-hmm. question in uh, like the entrance exam was had if the entrance exam was testing the amount of knowledge the mmi was in the testing your um critical thinking and um how you respond your everything like that the smoothness of your responses for me my family never forced me to become a doctor okay. um because i have two older siblings okay. while one of them chose the medical field she's a physiotherapist the other one did not do the medical field and there's no pressure on us for that like whether you, you can choose whatever career you wanted um for me the reason i chose medicine is that because i'm very invested in science i okay. i'm very really inter- interested in the how the scientific processes and how you know the they have worked they found these kind of mysteries of how the world works how the body works that's one reason i all i find it very intriguing the second reason is um i enjoy working <laughs> kind of like uh, i when i find myself busy i feel kind of happy so when mm-hmm. i find myself working do doing i feel happy and i also like helping people like i used to volunteer in the some school and then in my neighborhood and i did enjoy that so i feel like i could if i do this further on in life i'll be also very satisfied with myself as a person i, I think and it will help me develop myself in many ways Mm-hmm. When uh, during the entry exam and the interview, when I met the staff there, they were very eloquent, and when I talked to them and conversed with them, I felt very comfortable. So I feel like they're very friendly and like good people. So uh, first of all, it's the um, my friends and the environment because I have mm-hmm. been in the school for about since grade two, so it's been a quite a while. Okay. I will definitely miss the um, uh, the environment. Mm-hmm. But as I'm saying, the school has changed a lot too. So it's not the same school I was a few years ago, but the principal and the management has changed. So while I will miss the school itself, <laughs> I won't regret leaving it. <laughs> I've been looking forward to the scenery because oh. when I have seen the pictures and the, you know, to in tourist guides, the area, surrounding location, the buildings, they're mm-hmm. all very different from what you usually see here. Here you have like sky rise towers and you know all modernist buildings, but over there they're like quite, they're quite uh, like they feel like kind of like out of a storybook, like a fairy tale. So it's quite mm-hmm. pretty. I want to enjoy the scenery. My sister is a physiotherapist, as I said before. Mm-hmm. So I have seen her timings being quite busy. Okay. I mean, yeah, she's staring at me right now. And <laughs> okay. Uh, the thing is, she is going to definitely miss some of her Ramadan, you know, if tars and stuff like that. So mm-hmm. there's definitely that uh, in the future, I may be missing time with my family. I might be more busy, more occupied, yeah. and won't be having the freedom to, you know, hang out with different people as much as I have right now. Mm-hmm. That yeah, would be yeah. one disadvantage that I can think of: the timing. Mm-hmm. But the advantage would be that I'll be diff- meeting different people, even in the hospitals. I'll be meeting different people with different life experiences. And even though I'm losing time with people here, I might be able to give time to someone who needs it. Mm-hmm. So I feel yeah. like that's a, an advantage. First of all, it's definitely budget. You have to see budget because you know, in the future when you are in the studying, you don't mm-hmm. want to get external factor like money bogging down your study. You'll be already already occupied with your studies. so you don't want factors like that to be troubling you during time it's very critical for you just be studying mm. so if you're having a budget that's higher than yours and you do worry about the money about how to pay your fees how to handle this how your food your lodging it's better to set a fixed budget that you know even in difficult situation you'll be able to manage that after you set your budget you can start going to different universities you can then check how the university researches how the old students have Uh, check the universities if there any person you know in that university mm. so i'm in ivy school right so many of my seniors have already been in charles university and stuff like that so i okay. technically know people there 
So oh, okay. it's a university. Yeah, I know because I, my seniors have been there, so I can trust people over there. So it's very important to find a place where if it doesn't have to be a family member, it can be an acquaintance, but someone you know there. So you know you're not totally alone in that place. Mm. Aside from budget and that, um, you have checked safety. You have to, and then you also check you need to check how that country people treat the particular ethnicity or religion you are in. Because mm. while some countries are friendly to some religion and some ethnicity, is not always friendly to other religion and other ethnicities. So you need to check about that how friendly they are. So for the how I encountered, I started that. It's the career counselor in our school. She mm. was the one who, because all our seniors also, they most I think many AU students have went to Canberra. So it is there in our school that Canberra and different. A career counselors are always posted on the board, so you can see which career you're choosing and which um, education. What do you call that? Mm. What do you call this? Training facility provide okay. that opportunity, right? So yeah. we have in our school their board. So mm. That's how I encountered Canberra. Um, about my process, it was really smooth, honestly. Um, one thing I was, um, it was a bit um, irritating personally, was the fact that I had to compare prices, right, to leverage. Mm-hmm. I had to constantly go to under app, calculate how much I is that in the rounds and go back, and then you know, it's a calculation. Yeah. It's a bit um, smooth. So if you're going to provide in USD, I just have a wish that you can also provide in the rounds, like in the aside. So we don't have to constantly calculate how much. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That was a bit uh, frustrating. Because like some people will get confused because the values are different, right? It can be mm-hmm. very confusing. 